Alright, step two, deboning. Starting off with a rear hindquarter. It's already been cleaned up. I've gotten any hair off, any blood, any, you know, doodles that was on there. And uh, I'm making a cut to the femur from above the knee, knee and I'm going to go ahead and go to the head of the femur. And I'm just not sticking my knife all the way in. I'm just using the tip and following the bone. Then I'm going to reach underneath. I've cut it farther enough away where I can just remove the entire ham. And there's a nice boneless ham that we can cut into steaks later. I'm going to get calf meat out. If it's a bigger buck, a lot of times I'll have a real small bone that's pretty 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 strong that you need to get out of there but this was a pretty small dough that still had cartilage and stuff in there so it wasn't a big deal so got another one so right leg I'm gonna start at the the top and go down towards the knee and make my cut and do the same thing and then the left leg I start at the bottom and go towards the head of the femur. So everything's kind of reverse on that leg. But the calf is the same way. I'm gonna get the calf off, just work with one side of it, flip it, get the other side, and then come and pick off whatever I missed. Now we're going to the shoulders. There's a little flap of meat there that I like to get out of the way so that I can see what I'm doing, especially if it's a bloodshot shoulder, it helps. Then I'm going to follow the bone down, go over the joint, and it's gone. And again, I probably should have gone a lot slower. thought I was, but I was not. I'm just using the bone as a guide. I'm following it with my knife. It's pretty easy to see where you need to enter and exit on, on this part. There's a little T on this bone that you can follow on each side like I did and it's hard for me to explain it without really letting you put your hands on one so you're gonna have to get your hands on a deer and feel what I'm what I'm saying but there's a there's a ridge in the, in the shoulder bone that gives people a lot of trouble so this one's been cleaned up this one was a little bit more bloodshot than the other one so I'd already taken the time to get the let out and get the blood off of it so definitely should have done a lot slower if you feel that way please leave a comment that you would like a slower video this is our first time doing this so we were uh, I was nervous so one two there's two that's one side and the other side of that bone that ridge and I'm just flaying it off like a little fish fillet cut in and just follow the bone I can't stress enough how important it is to do your deer yourself and do your friend's deer. Next video will be coming out soon.